ELC 404s are really hot right now. They're taking over and we're seeing meteoric rises in projects like Pandora, but then also old NFT projects taking off. But what are they? How do they work? And why is everyone so excited about them? This is the simplest way to put it. Just say you've got a Bitcoin. Most people can't afford one Bitcoin, so they buy 0.1 Bitcoin, 0.2 Bitcoin, or 0.3 Bitcoin. So just say you've saved up enough and you've bought 0.1 Bitcoin 10 times. Now you own one whole Bitcoin. What then happens is the smart contract registers that you have one whole Bitcoin and now you get a Bitcoin JPEG. What this means is it means that you actually have one whole NFT as a JPEG that you could buy, sell, use, trade, do what you want. But what happens if you still want to hold onto it and still have some skin in the game, but you wanted some easy, quick liquidity? Well, instead of trying to sell one whole Bitcoin for $45,000, what you could do is you could sell 0.1 of a Bitcoin. Now you're left with 0.9 Bitcoins. But the contract knows that you don't have one whole Bitcoin. So what it does is it takes that Bitcoin NFT and it burns it. Now you've got 0.9. What happens? You get a little bit more liquidity, you trade some meme coins, you then buy another 0.1 Bitcoin. Now you've got one whole Bitcoin. Now you get the Bitcoin JPEG back. So this is in its essence what an ERC 404 is. It is NFTs that can be somewhat infinitely divisible. And when you own one complete one, you get the NFT, you can then sell the NFT, or you could get instant liquidity by selling the token. Now I've used Bitcoin here because I have a Bitcoin coin and this is the best representation of it. It's on the Ethereum network. And this is almost a step in the way to make NFTs highly um, liquid, which we've seen with the likes of Flooring Labs, which tokenize the um, NFTs into sort of a million different units, which then means that you can actually get liquidity for it. And then if you own the million tokens, you can then burn it and receive that NFT. But this is almost like what Flooring Labs is doing, but on chain. Now it has a couple of different reasons why we're seeing these meteoric price rises. One of the main reasons is, you're able to add liquidity into the ecosystem without actually needing large sums of capital. What this means is it means that you just don't have 10,000 people that need to have, say, $1,000 to buy each NFT. You can have 100,000 people all putting in $100 to get the same market cap. Because you're talking about market caps when we get to an ERC-404. It's more about market caps and less about the floor price of an NFT. Floor prices do come into, um, into it because obviously that's how prices work. But what you then see here is you've then got a highly liquid nature that does have a JPEG or an NFT attached. Now the greater use for this and where this leads to is a better trading experience of those that want to trade coins but then also that trade NFTs. This means on Coinbase, just say you had a Bored Ape, people wanted exposure to a Bored Ape, they couldn't afford the Bored Ape, so what they did is they bought a Mutant or they bought a Kennel or they bought something else. But those prices got very, very extreme. But how could you get in on it? What you could do is you could dollar cost average into a Bored Ape, and then when you got one, you could get the NFT, and then when you wanted liquidity, you didn't have to floor the Bored Ape, you could just sell one um, part, part of the Bored Ape. You might not have the NFT, but when you buy it back, you can then get the NFT again. So why is the market getting so excited and what are the use cases for the ERC-404? If it actually becomes implemented into the ecosystem and becomes a standard that is adopted, it then means that NFTs that are somewhat illiquid JPEGs can then become liquid tokens, which can then be traded on the likes of Binance, Bybit, Coinbase, or any other exchange. The idea is that an exchange can list the actual token itself, and then when you have enough of those tokens, you can then transfer that to your wallet and then get an NFT, but you've still got that highly liquid nature. You don't have to worry about flooring an NFT and someone buying that specific NFT. The idea is you can just sell as much as you want into the, um, into the pool, which then means that, sure, you might not have that NFT again, but you've got liquid, but you're still halfway there. It's a good way that someone could dollar cost average into a project, but it also means that someone can dollar cost average out of a project if they think that something is um, has got some legs or it's got a little bit of room to run. Now, I will say that it is new, it's very experimental. We've seen this play out for about a week now, and we've seen crazy runs. We are going to see um, rug pulls. We are going to see some bad actors come into the space and use it. We are also seeing old dead NFT projects come to life because they're teasing an ERC 404 and everyone is chasing that hot new thing. Right now, I think this is that experimental phase. It's that interesting phase of the game where we're still seeing what happens when this all plays out. Ultimately, I like what the ERC 404 is. 
I think it is a great use of the blockchain technology. It's a great use and extrapolation of what is the um, NFT in crypto space and melting it together. This bull run, we are going to see big breakthroughs in NFT Fi um, along with DeFi itself, and we'll see them melt together to almost come into one singular point, which I think will be quite good because then it brings the liquid nature that we see with meme coins with the big, huge runs, but actually turn them into JPEGs. One of the reasons people like meme coins is they're easy to move in and out of. You can buy five or 10 bucks of it. You can then speculate on if it'll go up or down. You can ha have some skin in the game there. One reason people like NFTs is the fact that You've actually got a JPEG attached to it and it becomes more ju than just um, a, a number on a screen. It becomes a JPEG that you've got an emotional attachment to, which you really shouldn't because that's, that's how you're round trippy bags. But what ends up happening with this is you can essentially have a meme coin with a meme actually attached because you can then have 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 NFTs with just a crazy amount of divisible nature that you can get a lot of people rallying behind it. And when you have a lot of people, hundreds of thousands, millions of people behind a singular thing, it starts to move and take on a life of its own. When you look at something like Dogecoin, we look at something like Pepe, when that ran, when you look at something like Bonk, when you have a large group of people that are financially vested in that thing, they will push it forward and ultimately price goes up. And then if you are an early adopter, you are able to make some money. Now, like I said, it is very new, it is speculative, it isn't an official, um, uh, it, isn't, it isn't really official yet. This is just the ex that experimental phase, but those that got in early have reaped the rewards. So how can you actually buy ERC-404s? Well, there are two options because we've essentially got the two different ways. You've got buying the outright NFT, which can be quite expensive or cheap, depending on what your budget is and what you're buying. And the other way is buying the actual token itself. Now to give you an example, if we actually look at Pandora, on OpenSea you can actually buy the NFT itself as a whole. Very expensive, um, not the best, you could also buy it on Blur, you could buy it on any decentralized marketplace. Now what you can also do is you can also head to Uniswap and then you could also start to buy them there. So you could buy 0 0.01, 0 0.0001, point sort of seven five whatever you wanted to buy and you can end up buying it and you're buying it with ethereum and you're buying a small fraction and what will then happen is over time as you stack that up and when you get to one whole unit you'll be given that nft and then you can do with that as you wish you could sell that nft on or you can get instant liquidity and drop some out so hopefully you enjoyed that little breakdown about what erc404s are and how they operate and why i think they're important if you enjoyed this video go down there show some love I had a pleasure making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.